For the past three years, women's wrestling has been a varsity sport in New Jersey. And now those athletes can take their talents to the next level. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer has more on the one historic team. I don't feel like I'm making history, but I know when I'm older and I tell my kids about it, they're going to be like, wow, you were the first, you know, team. It's going to feel good. Sandra Guerrero is the defending high school girls state champion. She's now the captain of the New Jersey City University women's wrestling team. The first of its kind in the state. I love being a part of history. I started wrestling at eight, so it's not new to me. It's new to everyone else. In a sport dominated by men, these women are pioneers. Really make sure you're pushing off the foot. Led by a coach who is a two-time world champion and one of the most decorated women's wrestlers in American history. This hand comes over. Elena Parishkova. It's really rewarding. I could see the fire in these girls' eyes. I could see that they really want to train and they really want to win. And the thing is, like, they have a realistic chance. They'll be going to qualifying for the women's national team. A decade ago, this sport had 6,000 athletes nationwide. Now it's more than 20,000. There's a lot more younger females right now, and they look up and they see, wow, like, there's women in college. Like, I can be a college athlete. The NCAA named women's wrestling an emerging sport, which means they're now just one step away from becoming fully sanctioned by the NCAA. What would it mean to the university to get sanctioned? Oh, I mean, it's tremendous. This is a prime location for women's wrestling. The state of New Jersey has been a hotbed for men's competitive wrestling for years. And now women's wrestling on the high school circuit has started really to make a name for themselves. Wrestlers aren't limited by their size or strength or gender. And success isn't limited to those who get their hands raised at the end of the match. It's measured by how you show up. There's a saying in wrestling, once you've wrestled, everything in life is easy. If you work this hard here, and then you go out into the real world, and you work this hard, I'm like, you'll accomplish anything you want. And I'm like, that's what I want in the end. I want you guys to learn to be successful people. Because sometimes it's not about being the first. It's about being your best. In Jersey City, Steve Overmeyer, CBS 2 News. Wow, those are some serious athletes. I'm so. You could see it in their eyes, right? They're going to be good. Their moves, too. They're going to be good, yep. Absolutely. Wow.